Hi guys, what is going on? It's Desire here, and uh, yeah, guys, I just I don't know. I, I've tried hard to get back into glitching and playing COD again, but I just I don't know if I can, to be perfectly honest. Um, obviously, Black Ops Four um, last year was absolutely crazy for me and the channel. Uh, we had some absolutely banging videos that just got tons and tons of views and it was fun um but then obviously as the game died and i lost interest in it um my channel also kind of died with it and before someone thinks oh you know he's like just complaining about not getting views or something that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about cod dying in general um now i know it's still a massive game but i mean for me right if you still enjoy cod and you still you know enjoy going into games leveling up and all that then that is brilliant for you to be honest because you still have a really fun game to play but personally i just i don't know i just i don't i, I don't enjoy it anymore um which is kind of sad to be honest i mean i've been playing call of duty for i don't know how many years to be honest um the first ever call of duty i got was world at war um, so, I know I didn't get that on, like, release date, I got it, like, a couple of years after. I probably started playing COD in, what, like, 2010. So, I've been playing nine years, potentially more, because I had actually played COD at friends' houses, um, and shit like that before I actually get it myself. So, I've probably played it more than that, potentially 10 plus years I spent on the game. And I think part of it isn't actually, like, a big part of it isn't the dev's fault. Like, I know there's issues with Modern Warfare, um, but at its core, it's got better graphics than older games had on PC anyway. On console, they've added that weird motion blur shit that looks like complete ass. But on PC anyway, the graphics got an upgrade, the engine's got an upgrade. The gunplay is really, really strong. The servers are kind of dodgy, but like, I don't know, it's just COD, I guess. But it's like, the, just the uh, the way people play Call of Duty now is, it's just so different. And it's just kind of killed it, to be honest. Because um, obviously back in the day, I was, I, I was god awful at Call of Duty. Um, you know, being a younger kid back then and playing this game, I was just happy to be on the game, to be honest. I, I could like triple negative every game, but I didn't care. I think that with the rise of esports and... Obviously, I'm not going to try and pin us all on Fortnite. But Fortnite has been a good example of showing us just how much insane amounts of money and popularity being really good at a video game can get you. And I think that's turned a lot of people away from casual gaming into caring about their KDs, caring about kill streaks, caring about how they've done in a game. I think um, you know that's been very influent in turning people into more tryhards or just caring more. Um, because, you know, back when I was playing Call of Duty World at War, then I got MW2 and I got uh, Black Ops 2 and that. Um, at the end of Black Ops 2, I did have a positive KD, just about. I had like a 1.05. Um, and that was after spending, I think, like 15 days or something playtime I had on COD, Black Ops 2. Um, so, obviously, you know, a lot of that. I was absolutely terrible at the game, but I kept playing it because I just loved playing the game. I didn't care about how I did. Nowadays, everyone's like, you know, I, I, I want to show how well I've done this game. So therefore, due to that, I'm going to sit in a corner and rack up kills. And it does work. And obviously, there are some things that could be changed to try and reduce that, such as uh, mini-map being actually, you know, showing uh, red dots on fire and things like ghosts not hiding people who are not moving with UAV up. Things like that, of course, 100% could help it. But at the end of the day, people are still going to camp. And, like, I, I think it's just because of how the general community has changed that it's kind of just... I just don't enjoy it anymore. I, I'm, st I'm still able to, you know, of course, drop games where I was, like... Especially on Shoot House... I got like 80 kills and like 8k score with like 20 deaths. So that's an absolutely insane game, especially for Modern Warfare. Again, 80 kills and 8,000 score. 
the game of Modern Warfare is pretty nuts, as far as, in my opinion, anyway. I'm still able to do that sort of shit. But after do, playing that game and doing that well, I still don't feel like I've had fun. I still just got pissed off by the game. I still don't feel like I truly actually enjoyed playing. And it's just, yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, obviously, another part of it is I did, you know, I loved uploading to YouTube. Um, and, I mean, I don't know, I potentially still would, but I just don't have the ability to do that, largely because, obviously, my channel is hugely glitch-based. Um, so, you know, people that watch my videos watch my videos because I upload glitches and tutorials and shit like that. Which is, of course, understandable because that's why I uploaded in the past. And that's where, like, 90% or more than that, probably 95 plus percent of my viewers and subscribers came from. is from largely Black Ops 4 glitching. And although it was fun to do, you know, I've been working on shit on Modern Warfare in private, like I did last time. I'm not going to drop anything now because there's still people out there that will use this shit. I'm probably going to quit glitching, if I'm being completely honest. Um, don't know if I'm going to completely quick card, but I guess we'll have to see. But I, I just, it's, it's, it's kind of hard because every single year you spend ages and ages and ages working on a glitch. You bring it out, you know, before you, sometimes before you even finished, shit gets leaked. Like Black Ops Four, um, I was working on bot lobbies with a bunch of other people for fucking ages. I genuinely just weeks on end just trying different shit and then before we managed to get the bar lobby the custom game stack got released to the public and then you know shit got patched and then we had to find a way past that and then bot lobbies you know were found um obviously I, i'm not taking responsibility for finding bot lobbies that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is i worked really hard on shit with people um and then stuff gets leaked now there is things in Modern Warfare that I think will lead to actual bot lobbies. I do think it will be possible. Um, but I just... I don't think I can go through that shit again. Because it's another one of those things where it's quite simple, the thing that we found. Um, I've actually got a friend who has found something a bit more complicated, so hopefully that will not go public. But I have a feeling that what the, the thing will go public uh, relatively soon. Because someone will think, oh, this will get me a couple of hundred views on YouTube and it will go public. And then there's a high chance, because of the way they've been patching shit, they've been patching shit really quick this year, that whatever it, uh, we might have somehow worked out to do with that glitch, it'll be gone. Um, and that's that's the thing with glitching. You spend all this time doing something to find an exploit to level up in a video game. And it just doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't matter. Um, but it's, it's just, it takes a long, long time. I think a lot of people don't really understand where glitches come from. It comes from people just sitting in their room and rather than actually playing the game, they're just trying to fucking spam buttons or something whilst joining other people. Like, just something like that. Just to hopefully get some sort of a glitch on the screen. You're know, like, okay, now what can I do with this? And you start exploring options. You're like, okay, that led nowhere. Back to trying to find something to begin with the end. And it takes a long ass time. It takes a really long time. So it's it's hard because that also then leads to inconsistent content. Like, I could upload every single day, but it'd be the same sort of shit over and over again. It'd be like, okay, here's one high ledge on Piccadilly. Okay, that's done today's video. Tomorrow's video, oh, we've got an XP glitch. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to make this video four times because I've got no other content. And that's not even the fault of the people that do that. That It's just so hard to find content for glitches that you have to do that in order to keep... Um, people coming back to your channel to see what's happening. You know, if you do what I did, where you just don't upload, it kills your channel a bit. And I'm not overly fussed by that, because obviously I'm not a big channel. But um, it is kind of sad um, that for a while I was getting crazy views, well, for me anyway, and doing really, really well. But it's, that's, I think that's what comes with this sort of channel. Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to upload again, but I I really can't find it in my future. I, I can't see it in my future. Of I, I can't see myself investing a lot of time into Call of Duty, and as a side into glitching in Call like in the I just I just can't see it anymore. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> it's kind of sad, but I just don't see it. Um, I still play lots of other games. I like competitive games. Um, you know, there's a new CSGO operation out. I might play a little bit of that, but I don't know how much, to be honest. Um, and I, I enjoy playing Overwatch. Um, I like playing a bit of Rust. Things like that. And then also, there's like stupid games like Gmod, fucking Scribble. All that sort of thing is fun. Um, but, yeah, I, I just don't enjoy COD anymore. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think this is the shortest amount of time I've ever lasted playing a Call of Duty game at the least. Um, every other Call of Duty has kept me entertained at least for a couple of months. But this one is just. I think it's finally just got to the point where I've, it's kind of grown out of COD. Um, and as I said, if you still enjoy the game, go enjoy it. Um, I just unfortunately don't anymore, and I can't really do that much about it. So yeah, um, that's why I probably won't be uploading much, if at all. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to say kind of thank you, I guess, for um, all of the videos that and the support and shit that I in the past. Whether I rethink this and end up enjoying COD because some patch comes out, I don't know, it's possible. But for right now, I haven't played Call of Duty in a good three or four days and that's, what, like a month after launch? Probably less, maybe? I don't know, I can't remember when it launched. But I haven't played it in like a week. And that's just never happened to me before and it just kind of makes me think that it's gonna be impossible to produce, to produce content that I actually care about um, yeah, I could I could learn, I could load up COD and just I don't know jump onto a high ledge on a map and call it a video, but like it just feels kind of pointless. So yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much gonna end up the video. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys some other time.